recently I came into a problem when I wanted to hook up my spindle to my parallel port for running on Linux CNC. Now, since the parallel port is 0 to 5 volts, um, it's not obvious to get a nice PWM out of it that reaches the 5 volts and, and how to get like the 0 to 5 volts DC coming out of it because it is a pull-up resistor on that, that works on the parallel port end and it might not pull up the high might not pull up to the exact high of the, that your uh, spindle needs so over here um, I was able to get the VREF from my spindle controller and it is 5 I think 0.1 volt and but the max current is 4 milliamps so I can't put a small resistor here because if it's low if this transistor uh, pulls down then anything drawing more than 4 milliamps would would drown my 5 volts so I was limited to some something, a resistor in between uh, more than 2K, um, maybe 1800 would have been fine. Uh, but I knew that I needed 10 times larger than this resistor, which um, uh, fills the capacitor. Um, the reason why it's 10 times, so the the... I want the pull-up to be as fast as the pull-down. So when the capacitor charges, I want that to be as fast as when the cap capacitor discharges. And although it's impossible to get because this is not a totem pull, um, getting a resistor ten, ten times smaller uh, is a nice cheap compromise so uh, I set my PWM to uh, pin 14 at 1 kilohertz and I have a nice spindle speed from 0 to 5 it's nice and steady on the oscilloscope um, and the um, the voltage has a little or no visible ripple and I'm able to uh, vary from, I believe it's 0.2 volts up to the rail of 5 volts. So I could get a, a whole um, span that I need from 0 to 5. And the 0 part just makes this, like, uh, I, I can adjust on the spindle what happens at 0. So it ignores the, the low limit until the value is good besides you don't want to run a spindle at zero now <clears throat> the other problem was um, while I'm at it is just to level shift the parallel port to the 12 volt that the spindle control needs so my parallel port again uh, this one is a spindle on that's the control from Linux CNC and it's set at pin 16 the spindle control uh, the spindle controller gives 12 volts out for supplies of various logic so you have to choose the, the 12 volts but it needs a signal from 0 uh, between 0 for logic 0 and uh, uh, 10 to 24 volts for logic high so um, I use the 12 volts here for pull up 2k2 is fine and uh, and I get a 0 to 12 volts um, for my spindle control now you may need to invert uh, your signals here and there uh, you may need to invert your signal on Linux CNC to make sure that it's compatible with your uh, your own spindle control 
um, that's um, or you can change your spindle, spindle control to obey or react to your different to your own parallel port level anyway there's lots of usually the spindle controls are smart enough so you can make this logic active high or active low so the two little circuits that I made are like I didn't make a board for it I made a small prototype like solder board oh, and uh, the only thing you need to remember is it's possible to do with just a few parts you don't need op amps you don't need anything special and it works really well next video I'll be showing um, how it works uh, on the actual spindle thanks for watching